So I'm gonna get rid of those. It looks like I have a Nancy Drew book here that I need to move. Hair things are always an issue, I know. Glad to get this out of the house and donate that. So glad you are here today as I am going to share a little gentle decluttering motivation with you today as it is summertime and I go garage sailing. So I am bringing things into my home. So that means I need to get rid of items. Garage sale season also means I am having a garage sale with my church. So it's a church rummage. I'm in charge of it. So I need to get rid of a few things this week as it is this weekend. So I'm gonna bring you along. This might be today and a couple other days of just doing some decluttering of items I might have in some totes of little girls clothes, um, clothes in our own rooms, my linen closet, the bathroom, um, possibly the kitchen. Just do a quick sweep of everything, go through and see what I need to get rid of. I like to declutter often so that I'm not bombarded with like one major declutter in January. So I'm gonna get started and bring you along with what I can get done over this day, possibly the next few days. So if you are in some need of motivation and encouragement to declutter your home today, hop on up and go ahead and join me as I start. All right, so I know there's some items in my kitchen cupboards that I've seen and I wanna pull out, I just haven't taken the time to do so. So I'm going to quickly look through some of these cupboards and pull some things out to donate for a church rummage or sell on Marketplace. I will sell some items if they are a bigger ticket value or do like a whole lot of girls clothes or a whole lot of kitchen items. Um, because then you don't have to ship like little $5 items if you offer shipping. So I'm gonna look through these cupboards here and see what I need to get rid of. linens drawer quite often and I'm always trying to see what I need to get rid of. Some of my towels are just really stained and dirty but they work so um, I use cloth napkins too for our family so they're in here. Some items I just I use for aesthetics and decor like this with a little tassel but I've only used it a couple times so we'll get rid of that. Um, napkin rings are really only meant for videos and I haven't been doing tablescapes with napkin rings so I'm gonna get rid of those. Um, some of these other tea towels I still use but not very often so we're just gonna keep a couple. A couple are stained um, and then gift the rest I think because I have some other plain white ones in a different drawer that I need to go through here. So I really thought I was going to use these white bar kitchen towels. I never did. Never did end up using them so I'm going to keep one and donate the rest. And then this drawer has some of my kids' stuff when they play with bubbles in the sink. They'll play with that. So I won't really declutter much of that because I already have gotten rid of quite a bit from out of here. All right, so out of this drawer, I really am getting rid of these two items. And let me show you what else I'm getting rid of. Okay, from the kitchen, I'm getting rid of two platters. I wasn't using linens, a few mugs. I'll put this in my antique booth. And then just these little coaster things, I think, that we've never used. So. Not too much because I'm always decluttering, as I said. Okay, so I'm taking a little break. After I nursed my little guy, I need to make some cookie dough. So I'm going to whip this chocolate chip cookie dough up. Then I'm going to get back to some decluttering and a little tidying. This really isn't much of a cleaning video. Right now, I'm just looking to declutter. I have a whole cleaning 
routine video if you're interested in that. I do some cleaning in my daily vlogs, inspiring homemaking, but this is just solely pretty much decluttering plus a few inserts of cookie dough and some things like that. So I'm gonna make some cookie dough. I'm not gonna bake it today because it is hot out today. That's why I'm inside right now getting some inside tasks done. is made after cookie dough is made little guy in the carrier we're gonna hit up the linen closet slash towel area and see what I need to declutter I haven't really gone through that area in over six months and I know I've collected a few extra things in there that should be decluttered donated or tossed okay so it's kind of dark over in this linen closet area um, so it's right at the end of our hallway our master bedroom is here slash nursery. Girls' bedroom is over here. And this is where I store extra towels, um, some linens. It looks like I have a Nancy Drew book here that I need to move. Some extra soap, some, um, let's see, my jewelry is up there. So I need to just go through this and see what needs to go. I got rid of our flannel sheets because we never end up using them because we both run pretty hot and then some old medicines I went through and I'm just transferring some washcloths I actually ordered them for our home birth and they were really cheap so I'm just gonna use those as rags instead of keeping them up here because I wouldn't use them as washcloths we have plenty still and I do keep extra towels because we do have guests and family that stay here with us so I want to make sure I have at least six extra towels for them and so, um, yeah, I just decluttered some medicines, a few towels, hand towels, just rearranged the medicine a little bit, and I think we're good. It's not super Pinterest worthy, it's practical, and I think that is the best way to go. So let's move on to our next spot of decluttering. <music> All of this is going to be donated for the church rummage. This is my whole container. Um, it still probably is a little more than I really need, but I am going to keep what I have in here. And then there's a few broken pieces and really tarnished items I'm going to just toss or donate or do as play jewelry. So just a few of those, but glad to get this out of the house and donate that. All right, so you've seen me declutter some in my girls' room. The drawer just was not organized well. They share one drawer for their shorts and t-shirts and one drawer for their pajamas. So it's a two drawer little dresser and it just wasn't flowing right. So it was time to just purge a few things. I had extra long sleeves in there that they didn't need. 
and just take a few items out. So I got rid of and a couple of dresses too that were still long sleeve. So um, I am donating like five or six items from their clothing and I just think it's good to rotate, especially if things are like super stained and holy. Um, you don't need to keep those, especially when I get hand-me-downs from my sisters who has girls a little bit older than my girls. So I just decluttered quickly from there a few items from their drawers. So I shouldn't really have to spend a lot of time in this bathroom because we remodeled it not too long ago. But I'm going to take a peek at anything that might need to be decluttered. Um, as it's been a couple months since we remodeled. And I'll put that in the description box, this renovation, if you're interested. So hair things are always an issue, I know. And I struggle with those. So I know there's a few things I should get rid of here that I will no longer need or want. just a few things this was a stretch mark cream that I had used during pregnancy so I won't need that anymore I don't need a clip and don't need this little comb as I have another or comb little mirror as I have another mirror um, that'll be easier for using in the bathroom so that is it for this and I threw a few ponytails away that were all stretched out all right it is a new day actually a couple days later and I've got my girl's here to help with going through a couple totes of some small clothes that they have. So I like to list these, I told you that on Marketplace, as lots of clothes. So like 20 items or something for $25, something like that. So we're going to look through some 2T stuff because my girls are done with those. And then some sizes for my oldest 4T and 5T that um, will keep or pass on. So we're gonna do that here in the living room right now and I'm gonna enjoy my morning coffee because it's still mid-morning. So let's get going on looking through some totes and decluttering. <music> So I looked through that tote and a lot of it is winter clothes, but I already took pictures to list those in the fall months on Marketplace. So I'll keep that tote full um, in the bag just so that I can list it. Um, little guy is sleeping on me right now. And then I found just a few things that will fit my two-year-old right now and a few things to give to a friend for the summer months here. Um, we're going to take a break and actually go to a garage sale. And then maybe later we'll look through the next tote and I'm hoping to maybe get through our garden shed too. Garden shed's going to be torn down this year as it is rotting. There's termite damage and so we need to declutter what's in there. And I just keep throwing old pots, old wooden stakes, decorative things that I thought I liked but I really don't into that garden shed. So hopefully that can get decluttered today or tomorrow as well. Okay, it is a new day again. This is like a three day process here. We're in the garden shed, my girls and I, and this is what it entails. Um, it's got some termite damage. It's got to be torn down. It's just what it is. So I'm going to clear it out and see what I need to toss and what I'm going to keep. So let's quickly declutter this.
so it's swept out. It's not perfect. I didn't take everything out, but I'm going to show you what I'm getting rid of and then put a few things back in. All right, so here's the pile of stuff I am going to sell, donate, throw away. I have a ton more of the plastic pots that I'm just gonna recycle too. So some flower pots I never used. I'll put this crock in my antique booth. Probably just try to sell that stand. I decorated with this large ladder once, not gonna use that. And that um, little wicker basket there too. Just don't need all this stuff in my garden shed. All right, so here is kind of what I just saved. I had to make it cute, even though we're potentially gonna tear it down with putting a couple baskets on the wall. I know. And then hung a few tools just on a nail. So here's some of the stuff I'm just gonna keep, like my terracotta pots, crates, like baskets for picking produce. I have a lot more baskets in my back porch. Um, and then just some more of the plastic containers for planting in the spring. I got rid of a few that were ripped out. So honestly, it is what it is. It is a little bit of a mess. We got all our buckets in here, aquaponics stuff. Um, but I'm hoping we will get a new garden shed at some point. So this is what it is. Got rid of some stuff, that's all that mattered. And I did do a little cleaning with sweeping. Well, that is a wrap, friends, and good timing too because it is now raining outside. So we got the garden shed all cleaned out, which is so nice to have done. My girls had fun playing in there. Swept it out too, like I said, and it was so nice to get some things decluttered. Some of those spaces that we just overlook sometimes really need the best um, clean out and decluttering, even totes. like. Things that are taking up space that I can put more stuff into now as the girls grow because I'll be getting more clothes as they get bigger. It's nice to have that free space in all those totes. And just to clean out other spaces where I don't need the extra, the excess, the things that make us feel just overwhelmed and sometimes just unsure where to even start. So start today, whether it just be one little tote, one drawer, something. You don't have to do like the whole house and an outside space like I did. But again, I did it in three days. So this was a span of three separate days, not one full day of just all decluttering. And get your kids involved, get your spouse involved, get your roommate involved, whatever it may be. So just hopefully you can find a space to declutter and um, yeah, be, feel encouraged by what you get rid of. And no, it's just taking up valuable real estate in your home today. So donate it to someone who needs it, make a little money off of it, or just throw it if it's broken. Well, anyways, friends, hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day. I will talk with you in the next video.